Hello everyone. Today I will discuss some CQ of Unit One of your PPS subject. That is programming and problem solving subject. Okay. Here I start with question number one. That is which of the following is the program design tool? Program designing tool क्या क्या है आपके? That is program हम we write program sequentially, but that is not a designing tool. Okay. Next is flowchart and pseudo code. Okay. These are the designing tools to write any programs. So here option B and C are correct. So Final answer is option D. That is both option B and C. Next is flowchart and algorithm are used for flowcharts and algorithms. Okay, with the help of flowchart and algorithm, we can write program in a better way. Easy testing and debugging. We can test our program and we can find out error and efficient coding we can do. Okay, so all of the answers is correct. Answer is D. Okay, question number three. An algorithm represent in the form of programming language. Algorithm ko programming language mein representation karne ko hum kya bolenge? That is the program. So answer C is the correct answer here. Next is which of the following is pictorial representation of an algorithm? Picture ke form mein hum algorithm ko kaise write kar denge? That is flowcharts. Option C is the right answer. Next is pseudo code is also known as program design tool, hardware language, software language, or hmm, algorithm. So that is a program design tool. Okay. Next is which what flowchart symbol does parallelogram represent? Parallelogram hmm, kis ke liye use karte hain for input and output. So parallelogram represent input and output symbol of your flowcharts. Next is question number seven. The symbol is always first and last symbol in the flowchart. That is your terminal symbol, okay? In question number seven, the terminal symbol is always your first and last symbol in your flowchart. Question number eight is a is a form of structure English that describe algorithm. Okay, structure English ki form mein write karte hain same as your algorithm that is your pseudo code, okay? Question number nine is used to express algorithm and as a mode of human communication. So algorithm ko express karne ke liye hum use karte hain, but for human communication. Okay, that is easy way to understand that algorithm. That is flowchart. Next is question number ten. Algorithm should be precise, unambiguous, and clear. Okay, so here all of the all of these are the answers. Algorithm should be clear, precise, and ambiguous. Question number 11. To check whether a given number is even or odd, you will use which control structure? Okay. Whether, okay. So, how do we write condition? If our number is modulus 2, means number ko 2 se divide kya, then remainder equal more. So, we use modulus of data. So, equal equal to 0. Then number is even, else number is also. If here we are using if condition, if is a your decision control statement. So answer is option B, decision. Okay. For question number 12, which of the following is a graphical or symbolic representation of a process? That is a flowchart we already discussed. Question number 13, in a flowchart, which a activity is represented using rectangle? Okay, using rectangle we do processing, okay? जहाँ पे मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला हम राइट करते हैं लाइक c is equal to a plus b यार वी आर राइटिंग लाइक सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल इनटू रेट इनटू टाइम डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड जहाँ पे भी हम फॉर्मूला कैलकुलेशन जहाँ पे भी कर रहे हैं हम उस पार्ट को हम प्रोसेसिंग बोलते हैं एंड दैट पार्ट वी राइट इन रेक्टेंगल � omitted okay means we are not using so variable a uh, never declare system specific codes are there memory allocation are not there so all of these are the answer option d is the correct answer next is question number 15 identify the word which best describe python python is an interpreted language reliable hai, simple hai. so all of these are the correct answer Select the integer literals. Here, integer literal is first one is float, so it is not considered as an integer literal. Second is integer. Third is your string, and fourth is also your string. So here, answer is P. In case of question number sixteen, integer is B only.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन विच ऑफ दीज विल नॉट बी स्टोर एज ए फ्लोट इनमें से ऐसा कौन सा वैल्यू है जो फ्लोट में स्टोर नहीं होगा इंटीजर को हमारा सिस्टम इम्प्लीसिटी पाइथन सिस्टम इम्प्लीसिटली कन्वर्ट कर लेता है फ्लोट में सो ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इंटीजर सो इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली कन्वर्ट इन टू फ्लोट फिफ्टी सिक्स बाई फिफ्टी नाइन वी विल गेट फ्लोट वैल्यू फिफ्टीन ऑल्सो इंटीजर वैल्यू सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल गेट फ्लोट वैल्यू बट ए बी सी इज ए स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू दैट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन ए फ्लोट वैल्यू सो वी कैन नॉट स्टोर ए बी सी एज ए फ्लोट सो आंसर इज डी ए बी सी Next is question number eighteen. Which operator gives remainder after division? Remainder value is percentage symbol. We use करते हैं that gives us remainder value after division. So answer is C. Okay. Question number twenty five. Python allows you to specify Unicode text. अगर आपको specific Unicode text या messaging type text you need to write, for that you need to specify that your text is. Unicode for that you use some specific symbol or character. We can say that that symbol or character is U. So in that case, answer is A. Question number twenty six. What is the output of this code? Okay, we are writing print. Inside print, we are writing parentheses and starting the uh, double quotes at the end, closing five times double uh, five times single quotes. So we can say three times single quotes or. One time double quote, so it will print. Okay, I will tell you. I will show you how it will work. So it is like print, print, um, uh, then sing three time single quotes, and uh, here we are writing hello. Then three time single quotes and one time double quotes, and close this. It is like this. Okay. सो डबल कोर्स से डबल कोर्स के बीच में जितना भी हमारा डेटा है वो सेम प्रिंट कर देगा सो लाइक वाइज वी विल गेट अवर आउटपुट सो हेर आंसर इज ए ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज वैलिड स्ट्रिंग लिटरल्स वी कैन यूज डबल कोर्स इन केस ऑफ स्ट्रिंग लिटरल्स वी कैन यूज सिंगल कोर्स एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज ट्रिपल कोर्स सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर द वैलिड स्ट्रिंग लिटरल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू विस लाइन ऑफ कोड प्रोड्यूस एन एरर Okay, in option A, we are concatenating two strings, so that is possible. In option B, we want to concatenate a string with the integer value that is not possible. Okay, that will give us error message. Option C, we are adding two integer value that is valid, and option D is we again concatenate two string value that is also possible. So here answer B will give us error message. Okay. Uh, next one is spam is a variable name and x. A string value of that variable name. If you are writing print, that variable is multiplied by three. Likewise, if I am writing spam equal to x, okay, then we will write print. We will multiply this spam by three. Then we will get three times the string value. Okay. Likewise, you can check your output also. So here answer A, answer B is the right answer. Option question number twenty four. What is the output of this code? Inside int, uh, okay, we are writing thirty. That is the string because it is written in double quotes plus forty. Okay, that is also written in double quotes, so it is a string. Both are string, and we are writing plus symbol in between them. So it will print thirty. After immediately print thirty, it will print forty. So it will be three zero four zero. So answer is C. In case of question number twenty-four, our answer is C. Okay. In case of question number twenty-five, what is the output of for this code? We are writing float one two three. Okay. And multiplication int input enter a number. For example, we enter number three. So, हमने using input function we enter value three and using and that three is of integer type. Otherwise. इनपुट फंक्शन स्ट्रिंग ऑलवेज इनपुट लेते हैं तो वी आर नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म मल्टीप्लिकेशन अगर हमने यहां पे इंट नहीं लिखा होता तो ये स्ट्रिंग 1 2 3 को हम 3 से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे स्ट्रिंग को अगर हम 3 बार मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो इट विल प्रिंट 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 लाइक दिस बट आफ्टर दैट वी आर राइटिंग आफ्टर दिस दिस इसके बाहर हमने लिखा है फ्लोट मींस जो भी हमारा आउटपुट फाइनली आ रहा है उसको हम क्या करेंगे फ्लोट में कन्वर्ट करेंगे सो हियर आंसर सी One two three जो हमारा three times print हुआ है after that we write point zero value because वो उसको float में convert कर रहा है so point zero decimal value will be there after your 
output. The number is question number twenty six. Identify correct variable name. So we need to identify which which one is the correct variable. This is var. In this case. Is and var there is a space or space is not allowed in case of variable declaration. Okay, in X is one two three A B C. We cannot start a variable name with number, so this one is also wrong. Next is this book is correct. Next is percentage name. We cannot again start with a variable name with percentage symbol. So here option C is the correct answer. A variable can be removed using keyword. If you want to remove a variable name now. Like if I write is equal to at uh, equal to ten, and uh, if I want to print this at, then I will write print statement like this. It will print the value of at variable. If I use del, del is a built-in function or sorry, not function keyword that delete any variable. So I am writing del at. So it will delete this at variable. If I want to print this at variable value. It will give me error message because this variable is, is not there, and I am getting here error message that is not defined. वो delete हो गया है इसलिए not defined error message we are getting. Okay, so del is the right answer in that case. Next is question number twenty eight. To specify more than one statement in a single line, use a condition to separate the statement. ओके मल्टीपल लाइन आपको सिंगल स्टेटमेंट एक ही लाइन में लिखनी है देन यूज सेमी कोलन इफ यू आर राइटिंग अ प्रिंट ए बी सी एंड अगेन आई वांट टू राइट वन मोर स्टेटमेंट देन आई विल राइट सेमी कोलन प्रिंट डी ई एफ देन सेमी कोलन अगेन वी कैन राइट वन मोर स्टेटमेंट एनी नंबर ऑफ स्टेटमेंट यू कैन राइट बाय यूजिंग ऑन दिस सेमी कोलन ओके so likewise we can write uh, these semicolon to write multiple statement in a single line okay here we will get output like this mm -hmm. so here semicolon option b is the right answer next is <coughs> question number 29 the input 